No, Marcus Flex, I do not want to join the powerhouse, okay? I have seven toddlers to look after. Leave me alone. Whew. That felt good. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking me to do the 100 baby challenge, which literally sounds like endless torture. So I decided to do the next best thing, which is the seven toddler challenge. I think this challenge started with James Turner. I am not sure, but I know there are a few different websites with different rules. So if you do want to do this challenge yourself, I will link down below different websites with different rules and you can decide whichever one you would like to follow. But today, I'm going to kind of be doing my own thing. I'm still going to be following the basics of the rules, which is don't get your toddler taken away, but I'm not allowed to hire a nanny or a butler. Yes, we're playing this on hard mode. We are not allowed to have infinite amount of money. Oh, I was supposed to start with 1,500, so let me do that we have to make our own money at home meaning no jobs and i'm playing with autonomy on at least i think i am i know some people play with it off but i'm playing with mine on so yeah those are the changes that i've made not crazy changes i basically made it harder for myself and also let me actually go into Cass for this part to help differentiate each toddler i've decided to give like their dad so the baby daddies colors of the rainbow so for example this is rose her dad is red like his name is literally red and i made her name associated with that color and her outfits are red themed as you can see this is autumn her dad is orange and i didn't like change the hair color for everyone i think i only did it for red because her dad's a redhead but for everyone else it's basically just outfits i didn't want this challenge to focus on the rainbow color element of it i wanted it to focus on not getting these toddlers taken away so yeah this is orange i mean autumn daughter of orange and then this is Summer, daughter of yellow. Jade, daughter of green. Sky, son of blue. Midnight, son of indigo. And Lilac, daughter of violet. Now I know Lilac and violet, two different shades of purple, but we're just gonna go with it for now, okay? <laughs> now this is Avery, Avery Maxi, because she has a maximum household. And these are her seven children and she is going to be trying to look after them all. If you do end up enjoying this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe if you're new. And now let's begin the endless suffering oh and by the way i did actually build this house i will have it up on the gallery my origin id is i am dice don't forget that extra e so you can go onto my profile and download it if you would like this over here oh like, let me get rid of the um the bassinets quick the house is actually only thirty three thousand nine hundred and twenty simoleons so it's like kind of in the starter home sector ish but it's a house that will fit eight sims so thirty three thousand simoleons isn't bad but um anyway this is avery's room pretty simple she has an ensuite over here and then this let me go into live mode to do this this is the entrance way a little step down that's her bedroom this is the toddler bedroom which has a bunch of beds and toys and all that fun stuff i should probably put like a fence here Mm. but it doesn't look as nice you know what i'll put a fence here okay i hope this doesn't trigger anyone's like anxiety just waiting for a toddler to like slip through these gaps but anyway so yeah this is the toddler's room they also get an ensuite which has three potties and a bath and then over here is the dining room with eight chairs because we're a big family got an easel over here so we can do some painting got this thing in the middle of the kitchen slash dining room because we have a lot of kids and we don't have much space and this is the kitchen i used some of the new swatches that we got it was a recent update like a few days ago where the sims team added a bunch of new swatches to stuff so i utilize that and this is the living room it's kind of dark in here but i'm not changing the color palette got a broken playhouse already oh my gosh okay i'm gonna have to fix that in a second got a fireplace a tv some kid stuff because we have a bunch of kids okay that's that's it basically so now we can officially let the challenge begin and i'm gonna start it off by repairing this dollhouse because i'm pretty sure some of you are upset about it yeah you're sad because the doll what the hell just happened oh, okay the toddlers are super glitched okay 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 
The toddlers are crazy glitched. Like, they are doing some crazy reverse movement. I don't, I don't know why they're so glitched. I don't think it's like mods or anything. I, I seriously think it's just the game. Now, let me check everyone's needs. Make sure you're all good. I just aged them up from being babies, so they should be fine. And maybe tomorrow I will invite around all the baby daddies to come and like hang out with their children. <gasps> and we're like playing with Rose. Okay, that's kind of cute. Oh, and let me auto light our house so our electricity bill isn't crazy. Now there are two over here. Midnight is in the playpen thingy. Jade is talking to the bin. Okay. <laughs> These two are playing with dolls. Some of them are in here playing with the blocks and in the toy chest right now the challenge is pretty easy i don't really have to do anything i think what we're gonna do is do some painting while we can so while the kids are perfectly fine we can get on with some money making schemes where did that toddler go why are they so glitched okay i don't know what's going on toddlers are zooming all over the room <laughs> They're zooming everywhere and I don't know what to do. Oh, and you probably realize that there are no high chairs in this house because my plan is to just cook meals and put them in their room so they can grab it when they're hungry. <laughs> so high chairs are not really needed. Okay, Autumn, why are you crying? New sibling from meeting new sibling. Autumn is in tears after meeting a new sibling she didn't want. You guys are the same age. Stop being a little brat. <laughs> oh yeah, and they all have different um traits. The only trait that isn't being used is the independent trait, which hurt me. It really did hurt me not to use it, but to make the challenge more difficult, I decided to leave it out. Okay, we're starting to get a little bit hungry, so maybe, oh, we've got orange juice here, but I'm gonna put that in the fridge. I don't think that went into the fridge. Where did that go? Okay, there's just floating orange juice somewhere, but after you finish that painting, and you've sold it i am going to get you to cook a meal we're level one cooking so please don't set the house on fire let's cook some fruit salads for everyone oh and it's three o'clock in the morning their sleep schedules are gonna be so messed i think i'm gonna start sending them to bed all the beds look the exact same because random people are gonna be sleeping in random beds every night so i'm gonna get them all to go to sleep oh my gosh look at this I feel like this is an orphanage. <laughs> I feel like this gives me orphanage vibes a little bit. Like Nanny McPhee realness right now. Avery, what are you doing? Oh, you're doing some more painting. Did you eat? Yes, you did. I think you should go and get some sleep as well because as soon as they wake up, life is gonna get messy. So I'm gonna assign this bed to you and then I'm gonna get you to go to sleep. So far, the challenge isn't that bad. Like I'm not having any problems, okay? Someone's awake. Autumn, you had a nightmare. Don't- Oh, no, 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 no. You're right, Autumn. I need to give you guys that light. I totally forgot. That light that prevents nightmares. Oh, what a good call. I would have totally forgot about that. Okay, we're gonna put it like above everyone's bed. Oh, we don't have much money though. So hopefully no one else will have any nightmares. Or well, since you're awake, why don't you come and play with this? Oh, another one's awake. Another one had a nightmare. Sky, don't wake up your mom um go and look at a book sure oh my gosh your imagination level two already you've been alive for like a day what oh another one's awake midnight you are not gonna go and wake up your mom you are going to go and play with something in there and you are awake why are you so excited oh because of the light and you're wild okay you guys are a little bit hungry so I'm gonna get the fruit salad out of the fridge. You know what, maybe I'll put it in the living room and then they can come and sit on the sofa. So you go and grab a serving. Is anyone else kind of hungry? You can come and grab a serving. You can also come and grab a serving. You can also come and grab a serving. You too, sir, and you. They're gonna be like stomping in here like, oh my gosh, this glitch is like, worrying i have demonic toddlers and i'm kind of scared okay everyone's getting their bowl of fruit salad which is great okay no one's come and sat on the sofa to eat everyone's eating on their bed which fair enough look at me being such a good parent the only thing that i am worried about is bath time because there's only one of us there's only one bath and there's seven toddlers so it's probably gonna start getting chaotic around that time but right now everyone's hygiene 
routine's pretty decent. Now you, my love, you're gonna wake up, you're gonna clean up all these bowls, you're gonna take a shower as well, and resume your painting. Now the toddlers can just do their own thing, to be honest. Oh, what are you doing? I didn't tell you to do that. You're gonna, what, what are you doing? What was the point of that? These two are like having a conversation. Oh yeah, let's invite the, um, the dads over. So red and indigo and violet and yellow and blue and green. Oh wait, and now green and now orange. Okay, so all the dads are coming over to come spend some time with their kids. Oh, and since it was their birthday because they aged up from a baby to a toddler, they probably have some toys in the mail. So that means I don't have to spend money on toys. Oh, and here we go. This is red. You can come in red. You don't have to knock on the door. You're like family now. So it's all good. This is red. His daughter is Rose. And I did dress the dads in their color as well, just to help differentiate everyone. So you know whose daughter's whose and etc. Rose, go and say hi to your dad. Dad, where did he go? Oh, he's here. Go and say hi. Why don't you get him to teach you something? Um, get him to read you a book? Oh, and yellow's here. Oh, and so is Violet. Summer, go say hi to your dad. Oh, and Avery has gotten everything from the mailbox. What was in there? It was only one toy. Out of all seven of the dads, there was only one toy. Are you being serious? How about we put some music on? So if anyone wants to you know, dance or something, they can. Some kids radio, I feel that's appropriate. It's kind of cool so we can light the fireplace, make it all cozy. Okay, we've got more dads. So yeah, this is Violet, who was Harry Potter. I got him from the gallery like ages ago and I just decided to slap some CC on him. So yeah, he was Harry Potter, now he's Violet. <laughs> Lila, could go say hi to your dad. And then this is Indigo. Indigo is a weird color because it's kind of like a blue, but it's also kind of like a purple. So it's kind of hard to like differentiate them. But um, anyway, Midnight, go say hi to your dad. <gasps> and these two are in here like playing around together. Oh, they're kind of frozen. A little bit frozen. Uh, guys. They're still not moving. Okay, <laughs> all right. So it's been around, I would say mm, three weeks since I recorded the last part that you just saw. Huh? And the reason being is that I couldn't stand how buggy the game was. The toddlers were teleporting everywhere and it was just taken away from the immersion of the video. So I decided to stop recording and I've been trying to fix my game. The game is still buggy, but less so. So hopefully you won't see the toddlers teleporting around the place too much. Also, anytime I invited Violet, who is Lilac's dad, he would literally make all the toddlers freeze. Like they wouldn't move and I don't know why they would get this thought bubble with his face on it and anytime I told them to do something they wouldn't do it. I don't know if that's a bug from the update or if it's a mod or CC that's causing that. If any of you guys have had this problem and have a fix for it please let me know in the comments. I really need some help. So when I invite over the baby daddies I'm gonna have to leave him out because he's the only one that this happens with. But anyway, I'm going to continue from where we left off. And also I made the dining area a little bit bigger because I felt like there wasn't much space for the toddlers to walk around. So yeah, this is a little bit bigger and the easel is in Avery's room now. All the toddlers are asleep, which is great. I think they're gonna start getting hungry soon. So we're gonna have to deal with that. And also they're gonna start getting a little stinky, so we're gonna have to bathe them. But for now, Avery, I'm gonna get you to resume this painting just so we have some money in the bank in case we wanna buy something, some more toys for the kids or like upgrade the house a little bit or something, I don't know. We currently have six days until they all age up, so we still have a while to go. And Avery, you would be happy to be pregnant again? I don't know about that one. Okay, the painting's done, so we're gonna sell that and we're gonna get some food cooking. Oh, uh, how nice it is to have a quiet household with no toddlers running around. It's just Avery, 
and the chopping board and it's raining outside oh wow this is nice oh you can see the moon from your window that's pretty cool okay the food is done i think avery i'm gonna need you to call to meal no violet don't talk to us you make my game buggy i'm gonna need you to call to meal before you eat anything no why did you take another serving oh my gosh okay and it begins oh no teleportation okay one by one they come super buggy but it's okay oh my gosh you guys are so stinky all right so who's the first one to get a bath i think rose is gonna be the first one to finish eating so oh she's already thinking about it so she's finished let's go and give her a quick bath and then after who's next i think summer was the next one to grab something to eat one down six more to go they're all still kind of tired which they will go back to sleep soon um but i just need them what are you doing why don't you finish eating oh my gosh where did the food go please finish eating you're not full yet all right avery's finished bathing rosie or rose whatever your name is next let's do summer or oh, she needs some attention so let's give her a bubble bath I'm gonna need you guys to wait your turn. You're super tired, Autumn. So yeah, go take a nap while you wait. I guess everyone can go and take a nap. Yeah, you go and sleep in the play thingy. Jade, how are you? Oh wait, you're gonna go and sleep in the play thingy. I think only two of you can sleep in here at a time. Or maybe four of you can, if you do it in all four corners. Okay, Avery, you almost done? Yes, yeah, Summer, how are you feeling? Good, you're happy. Um, so you can go to bed. Who's next? Autumn? You don't really need a bath, actually. Lilac, I guess you can be next. So Avery, go and give Lilac a bath. Okay, you guys are done. Lilac, go to bed and stay asleep. Um, let's give Jade a bath now. Wake her up from the playpen. Oh my gosh, look at you. Oh, geez, you've got like... <laughs> <laughs> the dirt marks on you why what are you doing avery please give this child a bath that was like two seconds and she's still covered in dirt pick her up hold don't put her to bed give her a bath oh my gosh lady do what i'm telling you to do please oh avery you're super tired i haven't even been looking at your needs but the kids come first so after jade who should be next oh yeah midnight can defo go next okay jade you're done um you go to bed what beds are available use this one and then avery i'm gonna need you to give midnight a bath let me just wake him from his slumber i think after midnight avery you can just go to bed no avery come on just one more kid one more bath and then you can go to bed oh it's already four o'clock in the morning or oh, almost five jeez we've been bathing these kids all night okay quickly bathe midnight and then you can go sleep in that comfy bed energy i would say like five not the best but it's something midnight you good all right you're not even that tired which is pretty cool but still go get some sleep let everyone sleep and we can fast forward to about like maybe like 9 a.m maybe 10 okay everyone's sleeping oh and autumn is getting really dirty and of course she's the first one to wake up no don't wake up your mom um i think there's one fish taco in the fridge yeah there's only a little bit left so you can have that avery i'm gonna have to wake you up and get you to make some breakfast what should we serve for breakfast today? Some eggs and toast. And then after you're done, you are going to go and give Autumn a bubble bath. And let me clean up this place. It is a mess. Okay, I don't think there's any more dirty dishes. So we're good on that front. Autumn, where are you going? Are you going to go sit on the sofa? How is all the other kids doing? Summer, you can wake up and go and do something. Jade, you can stay sleeping. Oh, Sky, you also need a bath. But well, why don't you go and look at a book? And all of you can just wait for breakfast to be finished. Oh, the eggs on toast is finished. Who said you can take a serving? You've got stuff to do. First things first, you're going to stop eating. And you're gonna go and give Autumn a bath. I feel like I keep repeating myself. Who's hungry? You're hungry, you can get something to eat. You're hungry, you can get something to eat. You're hungry, you can get something to eat. You're also hungry and also stinky, but come get something to eat first. You as well. And you too. Violet! 
Stop. I think you're trying to make my game buggy on purpose. And why did you cancel the interaction? What are you doing, woman? Oh my stress you're making this whole experience very stressful just give her a quick bath and then you can go and pee okay come on yes avery who are you um indigo hey you got a special gift because i'm such a good neighbor oh you still haven't bathed autumn i don't understand what else i can do to make you do this simple task and can you stop teleporting please Thank you. No, Marcus Flex, I do not want to join the powerhouse, okay? I have seven toddlers to look after, leave me alone. Oh, that felt good. Now you are both really dirty. All you have to do is one simple task. Come on, Avery, come on. Get in that bathroom, yes. Uh, gonna open the shower curtain, woo! And you are doing the one thing I've been asking you to do for like two hours in game. No, Avery, come on. Just finish scrubbing her don't think about the playhouse okay i think she's actually gonna do it this time after autumn i'll let you take a brisk shower and then you've got to give sky a bath and i think the rest of you guys are okay you need some attention so come and talk to your siblings you also need some attention just talk to each other it's really not that hard and for some reason indigo is like covered in filth but he has full hygiene. So I don't know, I guess it's not loading that he's clean. I, I'm really not sure. All right, everyone seems to be pretty okay. Why don't you, Lilac, come and talk to Rose? Talk about your favorite color. Um, invite her to Bob to the music. Oh, they're all in the living room, which is fun. I think they're just chilling, hanging out. Some of them are dancing. Some of them are playing with dolls. Let's actually clean up the place a little bit. Oh wait, Avery, you've earned yourself some food. Go get something to eat. Maybe even a little nap. Oh, and we have gotten the introvert trait. Have a sim do nothing social for 24 hours. Sis, I know the feeling. I guess I will clean up these plates for you because i'm such a good sims owner is that what you call yourselves a sims owner or like god i guess because you are basically god to these sims oh and maybe avery likes fitness even though she never has worked out a day in her life but sure okay now i think that since the household is pretty chill no one's like crying oh wait i think someone's super dirty oh it's rose she has a dirty diaper but i don't need to sort that out right now oh someone's doing something in the bathroom okay but i think now that everyone's pretty chill and avery can get some shut eye i'm going to leave this video here Again, if you guys have any fixes for any of the bugs that I have encountered in this video, let me know in the comments below and I will see you in the next video.